office of the governor of the state of Arizona. Whereas Kent McRae contributed to the growth of Tucson's economy by portraying Arizona as an unforgettable travel destination, attracting tourists to the old Tucson studios and making it Arizona's top tourist attraction in 1970. And whereas Kent McRae selected old Tucson studios to film the television series, The High Chaparral, which brought Arizona's history to life, reaching out to underrepresented communities by casting Indians and Latinos, and whereas Kent McRae increased Tucson's revenue by spending $2 million in the Tucson area in each of the four years of producing the High Chaparral, and whereas Kent McRae has contributed to family entertainment since 1956, having produced such shows as Bob Hope's USO Under Overseas Shows, The Colgate Comedy Hour, The Dinah Shore Show, Outlaws, Philip Marlowe, Bonanza, The High Chaparral, The Highway to Heaven, and Father Murphy, and whereas on March 22, 2013, Kent McRae will be honored at the High Chaparral Reunion in Tucson, Arizona, for his commitment to television and for always performing his work with grace, good humor, never-ending patience, tolerance, and understanding. Now, therefore, I, Janice K. Brewer, Governor of the State of Arizona, do hereby recognize Kent McRae for his contributions to the great state of Arizona. what it is that they're displaying for their fine arts project. We currently have 
a bunch of very large brains on our courthouse square. And I don't quite understand what it is that they're supposed to be displaying with those brains or fine arts. However, I do know that part of the purpose of art is to emotionally move and change people. And the stars of the High Chaparral created a television series that has emotionally moved and changed people for 46 years. The title of the show, The High Chaparral, has become a very iconic part of our culture. Now, very few people, very few artists get to work on something that truly becomes a part of our culture. Henry has his hand up. Initially, NBC uh, executives got together and called it Saguaro. And a few said, Sagaro? <laughs> Someone said, Hi, Chaparral. Yeah. yeah, I think Saguaro would not have become an iconic part of our culture. <laughs> Quite sounded. We've got to all stay home and watch. <laughs> so the list of things named after the show, I looked them up because I spend all my time on the computer answering your emails. So I looked it up. We have racehorses, trailer parks, housing developments. Um, there are villages named after the show. Now medals and awards, which you have, are also <laughs> given for artistic achievements. Artistic achievements of unusual significance or that have outstanding merit. So to the cast and crew of the High Chaparral, your talent, your artistic contributions to High Chaparral, we think, are exactly that. So, we have something for you tonight, in addition to a medal. We believe your work is outstanding, with outstanding merit and long-lasting contributions to the culture of the United States and of the world. So we hope you enjoy what we have for you. And to the people who I have asked to sneak in that award, it's time to bring it out and to give it to the cast and crew of the High Chaparral. Thank you. You're welcome.
birthday shout out for Bob here. Yeah. For his Heaven and High Chaparral. 
I've heard about snowstorms and mud and network executives and actors and hiring and firing and trucks and all kinds of things. And when I asked him, Ken, how in the world were you able to accomplish all of those things? He always said exactly the same thing. You hire good people and then you let them do their job. So yeah, exactly what I So Ken, I want to say to you tonight, it takes an extraordinary talent to be able to inspire good people to do the very best job that they can do. Now, High Chaparral had an episode that was called The Best Man for the Job. And Kent, everyone associated with the High Chaparral thinks that we should rename that for you to the only man for the job. <laughs> I have a letter here. It's from David Dortor. It's dated January 13, 1995. This was published in many of the Hollywood trade magazines. It's also sent to Kent. Dear Kent, on the eve of our newest Bonanza, a two-hour movie of the week that will air on NBC Sunday evening. I'd like you to know how much I value your work, your knowledge, your expertise, and especially your friendship. We started this little show together more than 35 years ago in September of 1959. We pioneered the use of color in television for the first time ever together. We made 430 great hour-long episodes together. We ran for 14 beautiful years on NBC together. We broke all sorts of records along the way together. The point is, my dear friend, none of this could have been accomplished without you. You encouraged and helped win the battle, and what a battle it was to bring color to a black and white television world. You solved every difficult, impossible production problem, and in the process, you built what were acclaimed the best crews in the business. That goes for Bonanza, and perhaps even more so for the High Chaparral. You became the uncrowned king of Tucson, Arizona, and you did all this with grace, with consistent good humor, and with never-ending patience and tolerance and understanding. Our crews loved you, respected you, were fiercely loyal to you. How else can one explain bringing in 430 bonanzas and 100 high chaparrales on time and on or under budget? You made friends for bonanza and high chaparral wherever we went, and they remain friends to this day. Then went on with our beloved friend Michael Lennon and successfully helped bring glory to television. A more decent, wholesome, family oriented show like Little House on the Prairie and Highway to Heaven. You and your darling Susan brought more new faces to television, more fresh and exciting new talent than any husband and wife team in the industry. You're still at it, big man. Thank heaven you're back with old dad to give us and the world the best bonanza of them all this Sunday night. Bonanza and the High Chaparral is a testament to your handiwork, your skill, your great, wonderful heart. There's never been another like you, Kent. Those of us who have worked with you are blessed to share your beneficent presence. With love and huge respect, David Dorto. Well, Kent, you 
you definitely have a heart of gold. And it shines brighter than any Emmy or any Oscar. We love you, Kent. So, tonight, because you are the only man for the job, we honor you with a very small remembrance from the cast, the crew, and the fans of the High Chaparral. I have here a gift from all of us. It's an award of excellence presented to Kent McRae, Big Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. High Chaparral 2013. Wow. I'll make this very short and sweet because I'll probably break down and cry. <laughs> but this is, means very much to me. And oh, Penny is a wonderful good. lady, and thank you for all your cooperation through the years. You do a wonderful job. Yes. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Susan, as we said before, Chaparral was not just one person, myself. It was a lot of dedicated people that worked their ass off every day that we were on location or in, in the studio. And uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate Susan's relatives who came tonight, my good friend Dick Carden, and a lot of people in this room that mean a lot to me. And you all mean a lot to me. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and thank you very much. kids. This is your dad. I'm sorry you couldn't be here tonight, but please believe me. I know you're in my heart, and you always will be. Thank you very much. And you know something, um, Carolyn and Debbie and Kristen and Scott, you're very close to us. We love you very much. And your dad worked very hard all these years to make what you have a beautiful life and I know you're proud of him and I know you love him as much as he loves you. 